Uh, welcome to a look at 23W51B. Essentially, it's 120.5. So the first thing I just was looking at is this, the attribute command. I think this was added to this sort of uh, point. You can see I say it's a 50. So that's pretty cool, right? And I think the limit is the... Can you do higher? Oh, you can do 120. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. So you can do it really high then. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, the other thing you can do as well, you can do a scaling as well. Um, let's try. I don't want to go too, too big. 50. So you can see, well, that is a lot bigger. So interestingly, when you go much bigger, you, you can't actually, um, if we just go into survival here, um, so you you have to, I guess you have to scale the um, the movement speed in the same way, right? But yeah, you can see we've got basically a bunch of different um, things that we can change, right? The flying speed, follow range, luck. So all these things are useful, obviously, when you're changing mobs as well, not just uh, your own player. I think the default is, is 0 0.1. Looks about right. All right, so yeah, a bunch of different things you can do there. Uh, now, the next thing that we've got to look at is this thing with scoot. So now the tur the regular scoot from the turtle has been changed to a turtle scoot and we have the armadillo scoot. So let's take a look at the deal with the armadillos. Okay, so armadillo looks like it adds uh, some interesting new stuff. It adds basically the ability to get the scoot from the brush, which then becomes wolf farmer. The armadillo is uh, found in Savannah, but I'm not gonna go there. So let's take a look at this thing. Okay. All right, and then if we, uh, I guess we use this, sorry. And then we need six scoot. The recipe is actually this. There you go. And then they are basically, um, let's just take a look at this. And then it goes on the wolf. Cool. All right, so apparently the wolf armor does not have any durability either. Uh, can be removed with shears. Okay. All right, moving back to the armadillo then. The breeding item is the spider eye. And yeah, you need you need it for the parrots and the bats now. Um, there should be. Oh, that's when they roll up, so they become like a little block. Um, they don't roll up when in water or in the air. Um, with a lead as well, they won't roll up. So you can see those ones rolled up, but this one didn't. Um. They're also scared of uh, zombies. Let's check that out. Oh, yeah, that was another thing I meant to check out. Another kind of obscure reference, but um, there's there's an interesting similarity between the um, copper grate and the mangrove roots. And that's sim and that is that. Uh, let me just. Uh, can I? Ret They're basically just tanks, aren't they? Both of them. They, they, these are the only two blocks in the game that act like this, right? So that's that's kind of an interesting fact. I don't know if how that will be used in the future, but I imagine it will, right? So you can see the zombie makes them do that as well, right? Funnily enough, a uh, spider eye actually very good food. If it doesn't poison you, that is. Then it's not quite so good. Search my channel Minecraft food. I, w I, I did a really, like... Um, kind of niche video about the different values of the food. And the final thing that I noticed, just randomly looking, I think there is some more additional sounds with the breeze. Uh, the armadillo armor is equivalent to diamond level um, horse armor. It's 
seems like more advanced to these things than I remember them. I wonder if the wolf will actually kill that thing. Oh yeah. They have a lot. I think it has a lot of health, though, right? Well, okay. All right. Thanks for watching.